What's up guys, this is the Forefront of Gaming here and today I'm playing Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth 2 again. I'm playing on Minas Morgul map and the, uh, the enemy have just found the ring and I'm just using my Black Riders here to chase after them uh, and basically kill the, the units carrying the ring so I can get the ring and hopefully then I can summon Sauron. And I've never actually done this before. I have found the ring on um, I have found the ring on a skirmish, but I think I may have lost it or I didn't have enough points to get Sauron or something like that because he just costs like 10,000 points. So it's fairly expensive, but he's pretty he's worth it. Like literally, he can destroy like like a whole army with just him. So he's pretty good. I have, as I say, I'm playing as Mordor. I have my army here, which is just basically made up of kind of, a bit of everything. We've got trolls. We got black orcs, we got a couple of catapults, and one more kill. And what's basically doing all the work here is my Nazgul. Uh, so I've got the Witch King, uh, Morogmir, and Camel. Uh, basically, they're on like their winged uh, beasts, I guess. And I'm going to close the gate now because that's not good. They're on the winged beasts, and basically against dwarves. As dwarves aren't going to have amazing archers, so they're really uh, effective against dwarves. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ring back to the citadel, or whatever it's called. What's it called? The tower. Uh, and, and then I'm going to get Sauron, basically. Hopefully I'll have enough uh, um, population uh, points to buy him, hopefully. But if I don't, then I just have to kill some people, I guess. <laughs> Which sounds a bit harsh, but that's the way it goes. But he is pretty amazing. He's probably the best unit in this whole game. Uh, Sauron. So yeah, I'll. If you see the ring spinning there, that basically means you've got the ring and you cash it. You sort of put it in. So this, I'll show you what it does. See, the Black Riders have gone in. Then, we, then the tower has is then circled by the kind of inscription that usually goes on the ring, which indicates that you've already that, that it shows you've got the ring in the tower basically. Now, if you go on here, there is at the top Sauron. Use one wind. To, the one ring to summon the Dark Lord. So you click there, it costs ten thousand points, but to be fair I'm already on like fifteen thousand points, so it's not not really a big issue. But um one thing I would say about um playing in fortress is it, in some ways it can be a bit too easy because the enemy don't tend to they don't send in massive attacks, they only send in a couple of squads of soldiers sometimes. So it's not massively hard. I mean to punch through your gate, they need something pretty powerful, and they never really do that. So I'm gonna, but I've got Gimli here, and he keeps attacking the gate, and he's really hard to kill. So I'm gonna send my three hero units to just defeat him, wherever they've got to. Yeah, there they are, flying over now. Um, I'm also also gonna do a video on, uh, just playing as Angmar to show you uh, their units, uh, which particularly the archers are incredibly good. The archers from Angmar, they're amazing, um, and also their trolls are pretty good as well. Uh, so they're quite a strong, uh, sort of. I don't know what the word is, sort of like faction to play as. Now, as you can see, Sauron's probably going to take about probably ten ten minutes or something like that to uh, load. So I may have to do another video showing Sauron and his abilities and stuff like that because I probably won't be able to do it on this video because I can't really wait about 5 to 10 minutes because the video size will be too big um, hopefully but yeah hopefully I will be able to do a video showing him and his abilities and stuff uh, I nearly killed Gimli he's a pretty strong hero for the dwarves but I'll hopefully get there eventually um, other videos that I'm going to hopefully do in a few today possibly is uh, Dawn of War uh, and install probably Dawn of War Dark Crusade plainly because I don't really have I can't be bothered to install the two the two games before that because the first game is it's a good game but it's old it's a bit dated so I don't really want to bother with that um, I've got this is this is why this game's strange and in some ways that like they have these random squads just stood at the corner of the map they're not doing anything just stood there the enemy's in our camp no. Apparently the enemies in our camp, but they're not. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll do Dawn of War. Hopefully some Fallout 3 gameplay as well, just to show you a bit of stuff on that. Maybe because what I found out Fallout 3 is the probably the hardest bit of Fallout 3. Gonna put some archers in. Was 
uh, kind of the end game when you have to go through the I think it's the irradiated metro to get to if you haven't played it I'll try not to ruin it but basically you have to get to the metro to get to a certain place and I put my heroes back in actually um, and I found that quite hard in terms of uh, how to kind of find places to go and stuff because the it was a bit the object markers were a bit kind of hard to follow and stuff but generally it was a pretty good game uh, and the ending was pretty good as well I'd say if it was Oblivion versus Fallout I'd say Fallout was better for gameplay and just sort of like how like immersive the game was but Oblivion's ending was a lot better I won't tell you what it is in case there's someone out there who hasn't played it who's watching this video but yeah I'd say um, Oblivion was better for its ending I thought it was pretty amazing um, I have the Oblivion uh, Game of the Year edition complete uh, sort of complete with all the expansion packs on PS3 um, and once I get PVR for my channel I will hopefully be doing a few videos on that as well because I think that would be pretty good but the one PVR I'm looking at is the Rock Shield Game Capture PVR now I've heard sort of good things and bad things about that PVR I think it's good mainly because of outputs in a fairly good format and also it's fairly cheap so about £53 in your, if you're in the UK whereas it's like £70 on Amazon well I was also going to buy it but it's too expensive on that so uh, bad thing about it is mainly it doesn't record in HD which is a bit of a letdown especially if you're playing a game in HD and it's not recording it so the quality can be a bit meh but uh, I think it will be worth it it'll be good to have the experience of playing it and stuff and using it really as well but Apart from that, that's all I really want to say on this video. Thanks for watching guys and more will come.